Hi. So, food very concrete. So this is this is where we're at. Um, this is a very delicate topic to talk about uh, because there are a lot of great companies that are, are making some great looking products out there for the industry. A very a lot of deco or art deco, um, and most of these concrete products, whether they're plates, their cups, their mugs, bowls, uh, mm -hmm. concrete wine vessels, concrete beer vessels. Oh yeah, sure. The unfortunate reality, and we wrote an article about this, that there's um, there's just nothing out there that regulates the type of chemicals that are going into concrete, especially concrete meant to be used for food or some type of liquid that's going to be ingested. So the, the purpose of this is to talk about that, to address that. So that's it. You know, when we look at Portland cement, water, rock, and sand, they're not really hazardous. As a matter of fact, me and I got into an argument uh, a couple episodes about, um, you know, there being a patent on a tricalcium, dicalcium, and silica fume combination uh, for, you know, repair of teeth. So there are patents out there with putting, you know, Portland cement as well as silica fume as well as, you know, higher end versions of the two into your mouth for repair of cavities. Um, so that being said, those products are fairly food grade. They're not that nasty on the human body. But when we're talking about, you know, using it in large quantities and then more importantly, a lot of the chemicals, especially the new emerging technologies that are out there, there are some chemicals like ethylene glycol, which was used in concrete or glycol ether for that matter, for uh, shrinkage reduction, which is great for shrinkage reduction, but it's just not great for the body to ingest. And unfortunately, with a lot, let's look at wines. So wines will dive into this porous material of concrete, and the acidic environment can tear concrete apart. Uh, and a lot of people say from concrete wine vessels, you get a a more natural uh, taste of the grape, a more mineral taste, the true taste of the grape, and those minerals that were that they're tasting a little bit of is, is the concrete. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, assuming that they're not using hazardous materials. And you know, the question is, what is hazardous? What isn't hazardous? And I said earlier, there really is no specification for food grade concrete. So the best thing that you can use is NSF 61, and that's for potable water. And that would be, I mean, besides using common sense and looking at the labels and doing a little research on the chemicals themselves, using NSF 61, which is not an inexpensive process, you know, sending them your materials, going through the whole inspection process is expensive, but I would say that that is the best method for going after a food grade concrete until there are some regulations that really take care of these issues that I was talking about. We also wrote an article about it on Medium. Uh, it's got great information on a trip that I took to Napa Valley. Awesome research project mm -hmm. about concrete wine vessels. And one of the guys that we went and talked to, I asked him what does he do about you know harmful chemicals because I saw the chemicals he was using. He wasn't he wasn't being secretive about it. He was pretty blatant about what he was using. When I asked him you know, if he was concerned about people getting sick, and I'll never forget this. He said to me, I haven't gotten caught yet, John. Blew my freaking mind that somebody would take that chance just to turn a profit. And I, and I guess it really shouldn't. I should be more surprised that I was surprised. But uh, if you're going down this path, and hey, I've got, a, I've got a lot of Instagram folks that I follow, followers that you know, follow me, um, that do this. They make concrete plateware, cups, bowls, vases, as well as wine vessels, you're making some nasty shit that can get people sick. So check out your mix design, check out the chemicals that you're using. I and mean, we don't want to destroy the movement of people becoming more in love with concrete. So questions, concrete concerns, or if you just want to shoot the poop about concrete, shoot us a message, a uh, direct message. But yeah, wicked awesome to talk about concrete. Um, like, subscribe, all that jazz. You're an awesome person. Have a great day. Go concrete, beat asphalt.